This police officer is one of 59 members of the police department who said they were injured. She describes being in the East Precinct on Saturday when the situation escalated and quickly became dangerous. Officers are just saying, look out, and then you look out, and there's a giant rock coming, you know, straight for your head. You know, as they're doing this, they're saying things like, there's no riot here, take off your riot gear. Officer Ellie calls what she saw Saturday shocking. It was a day that started with the instruction for officers to stand down unless people were getting harmed. She says in the afternoon, a crowd of about 2,000 people started marching toward the East Precinct. Then the building was hit. They threw a homemade explosive of some sort at the wall of the precinct and it made an eight inch hole and we could see through it. Um, that's when we're like, okay, they have explosives. This is dangerous. We're in the building. We're the target. Outside, she was with officers telling the crowd to move back. It just felt like they were there to hurt us. She says she was hurt. A rock hit her leg. My meniscus is torn completely, so there's no other option other than surgery. She grew up in Lebanon and is fluent in Arabic and became a sworn officer a few years ago. I decided to do it and to be, you know, a role model for my people and also to do it so I could be there to answer the call and, you know, be on this side of it when my community calls for the police. She says she does not have a problem with peaceful protest, but Seattle police claim a small organized group came out to cause trouble, bringing bear spray, stun guns, spike strips, and explosives with them. Chief Carmen Best says an investigation is underway into what happened on Saturday. According to SPD, crimes like arson, assault, and vandalism were committed. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.